Hey Jake, can we talk about Moana? I want to talk about Moana. I just cannot believe that I'm addicted to a song sung by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So Jake, I had a whole thing planned, scripted out, ready to roll, ready to record, and I just had to talk about Moana. Have you seen Moana yet, Jake? Wasn't it amazing? It is certainly, without a doubt, my new Frozen. Speaking of Maui's song, You're Welcome, and what can I say except, you're welcome. No, stop. Can't do that now. Anyway, my point is, I've been listening to this song a lot, and even when I'm not listening to this song, it's in my head, over and over and over. And I started to think, there are an awful lot of things in this song that Maui claims responsibility of. Like pulling up the sky, stealing fire for humans, pulling islands up from the sea, literally lassoing the sun, killing eels and burying them to sprout trees, and harnessing the wind, to name a few. He also claims that the tides, the grass, and the sea are also his doing. Now, if you remember in the movie, Moana's grandmother actually told Moana and the other children of the village the stories of Maui, and they were pretty much legends for them. Anytime Disney's done something like this in the past, it has been based in some sort of reality, i.e. something like Hercules. So I wanted to look into it and find out if this was something that Disney had just created and made up, or if it actually did have some sort of basis within the real world. And what I found was actually rather surprising. Now from what we see in the movie, we need to find some way to tie it to reality to make sure that it's not just some fantastical world someplace, and it actually is supposed to take place within our reality. So I figured the best thing to do is to start looking at the stars in the movie to see if maybe those have some basis within our reality. And Jake, it turns out, they do. So if you remember in the movie, Moana's grandmother actually shows her Maui's hook in the stars. Now I thought that was kind of interesting because I've never actually seen a constellation in this shape of a hook before. However, when I looked into it further, I realized that the constellation that we see in the movie is actually what we in the West know as the constellation of Scorpius. And as it turns out, Maui does in fact exist within Hawaiian mythology, as does his fish hook. Maui's fish hook, and I'm probably going to butcher this, is actually called Manai Kalani. And in the legends, it said that this fish hook can actually catch anything. Now, according to these legends, Maui actually did indeed raise the islands of Hawaii out of the water. Maui was out fishing with his brothers when he intentionally caught his hook on the bottom of the ocean floor. Now he intentionally yells to his brothers that he caught a massive fish and demands that they start rowing the boat away in order to help him pull the fish up. So of course they go as fast as they can and as they do, they don't notice the islands of Hawaii are actually lifting up behind them. And then Maui proceeds to do this several more times. Apparently, Maui also lassoed the sun. His mother was out trying to dry out her kappa, or bark cloth, and complained that the days were not long enough for, in order for them to be able to dry out. So what does Maui do? He decides to take matters into his own hands. He climbs up a mountain called Hale Akala and uses a rope made out of his sister's hair to lasso the sun. At this point, the sun is fearful for his life and actually agrees to increase the length of the days during the summer and decrease them during the winter. Talk about a proud mother. There is another legend where Maui actually does lift up the sky. One day, Maui noticed that the sky was so close to the earth that mankind could not even stand up. So, Maui recruited the help of his father, Ru, to help him lift up the sky. Some say that if Ru had not helped Maui lift the sky, it wouldn't have happened and all of mankind would have been doomed. I was also able to find a legend of Maui learning fire from a god, and in that legend, he actually turns into a feather and also grows in size. So, as it turns out, the legend of Maui is not just within the story of Moana, but actually in real life. And while it's not exactly portrayed as it is in the legends, I have to say that it is very impressive, and if it wasn't for the story of Moana, I would not know anything about this. So, Jake and viewers, what do you guys think about somebody's culture being used for a story like this? Do you think it was good because it allows new people to be introduced to new ideas and things they've never seen before? Or do you think it's bad because it does not accurately represent the legends that it comes from? 
Thank you all once again for watching, and until next time, you'll be fine. Probably. There's no need to pray, it's okay, you're welcome.